Here's an absolutely incredible 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. As you can see, two-door hardtop, otherwise known as Sport Coupe. Back in 1955 at your Chevrolet dealership. That's what this would have been considered. A lot of cool things about this car. Number one, restoration frame-up was done five years ago. Uh, this car has approximately 500 miles on it since that restoration. So in incredible shape. Uh, the other thing about this car, brought back and restored as original as it would have came from Chevy. So this was originally an onyx black car. Interior would have been red vinyl with a straw pattern cloth. When we get around to the interior, you're going to see that that's the way this car is set up. But What's really neat about this car is all the options that it had. In 1955, a lot of new options had come from Chevrolet and went into this newly designed model. And we'll kind of run down a little bit of a list of these, but as you can see, the start out with the bumper guards on this car. 1955 marked uh, Chevrolet switching from a 6-volt system to 12 volts. This would be a 12-volt car. Steel wheel covers, I should say the wire wheel covers, would have been an option. Dual rear view mirrors, so outside rear view mirrors on both sides would have been an option. Automatic dimming headlights, power steering, power brakes. These door guards right there, also an option. As well as a gas door guard, which it has on the other side. If you can see peeking on the back of it, Continental kit. They get to the interior and power windows, power seat. And then best of all, factory, or excuse me, believed to be dealer installed AC on this according to the previous owner. So just a multitude of options. The car still has them. AM radio in this car and it works. As you can see here, we have the red vinyl with cloth. I should say with straw pattern cloth. So again, that seems stock. Tissue dispenser underneath. It's an unbelievable car and equipment. Feel free to check out the still pictures. You'll be able to look at the underside of this. It's finished off the way it would have came from Chevrolet back in 1955. Check out those still pictures. UniqueClassicCars.com We can be reached at 507-386-1726 If you'd like to inquire about this car, we do consider trades. Financing is available. No, that wasn't an option in 55, that center high mount stop lamp, known as a chimsel these days. That was an add-on for safety. We can also assist with transportation, get this card to where you're located at. And like I mentioned, we do consider trades, financing is available. But yeah, as you can see, check out the reflection, luster of this paint. Very, very nice. Come around here, the Continental Kit mentioned earlier. Again, bumper guards. And then let's come around here and look at that gas door guard. So many options on this car. We're going to go ahead and check out the interior. And show you that this also looks great on the driver's side. There's your power windows. Power seat. And yes, power seat does work. Beautiful red and straw pattern interior on this. Check out the headliner and everything. Just like this car would have came new. Uh, the center emblem, uh, having a little bit of refurbishing done to it, that will be included with the car. We just didn't want to wait to get this one advertised and get it out there for you folks to see. So just letting you know, that will come with the car. Look at this dash. A nice interior is let's go ahead and fire this up by the way did i mention power glide transmission did not have the standard transmission back then which would have been a manual which is kind of ironic look at here i got directions on how to drive your automatic transmission these days you need it to show the younger generation how to drive a manual but back in the day a lot more manuals than there were automatic so you can see how easy it starts how smooth it runs how stock the interior is also just an incredible bel air slip around to the back 
nice that door closes. Listen to this. This runs so smooth. Doesn't smoke. This is going to give somebody many years of enjoyment. For the next owner, could be you. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. We're going to pop that hood. I want to show you how nice it is underneath there, too. It matches the rest of the car. All right, there you go. I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier, but 265 cubic inch V8. Check the casting numbers on it. This is a 1955's vintage 265 cubic inch V8. I cannot prove to my knowledge that this is the original engine with this car. I don't believe it's 55, but it would be the era correct engine, would be the right size engine. So again, just retaining that stock appeal. There's your dealer installed AC according to the previous owner. Again, power brakes, power steering, which was all new options that were first available in 1955 from Chevrolet. They got so many options, some were very similar to Cadillacs in the day. Chevy had really stepped up a notch in options. So like I said, still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Phone number we can be reached at 507 386 1726. We do consider trades, financing is available, and of course, we can help get this vehicle shipped, transported to your location. 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, two door hardtop, extremely original shape. Look forward to hearing from you.